Hello, this is Amy with Whistle Thicket Farmstead. Uh, today we got some exciting stuff happening here on the farmstead. Um, most of y'all know how much rain we have accumulated this year. It has been a ridiculous amount. I believe they've said 80 inches this year um, and it has really just wrecked havoc on um, our horse pastures. <clears throat> you can see the amount of mud that these poor horses are dealing with. Look at this. That's one paddock just completely churned up into mud and yuck. Um, we've had a lot of uh, hoof problems due to this mud because the horses are basically um, their feet are constantly moist and exposed to different types of bacteria. Um, this has resulted in abscesses and cellulitis. So today I got my buddy Dwayne here. Um, he's going to be helping me remediate this problem by putting a swell and a berm up here at the top of our pasture. Um, this is where most of the mud originates from, as you can see. So what we're going to do is uh, cut this down into a little bank, put a ditch, and then have a kind of a berm here, which will be their pathway so that all the water is directed down into the ditch and off either side of the property with the hopes of being able to um, distribute the water off to the sides from the top of our property that we will essentially be able to prevent it from continuing to travel down and washing out our, our dry out our dry lot and our um, driveway and everything else so we're kind of working our way from the top down and Dwayne here is going to be hooking up our tractor with the backhoe keep it a little bit more dry here so that is the plan I'll be keeping you posted on the progress here All right, here we Thank are you. it's the end of the day at Whistle Thicket Dwayne's just left he's been working pretty hard on our new swell and berm at the top of the pasture and I'm just gonna quickly show you our um, the end result that we have at the moment So here's, of course, the pasture. He's already kind of unearthed some of our lost gravel. It's still here. He went ahead and put a big log, a locust log that we had, underneath here to um, block the mud from continuing to leak out into our our dry lot. What once was a dry lot and what hopefully will be a dry lot again. Um, this is the path that he has created for the horses to walk on so that they can get through our track system that um, exists along the perimeter of this pasture. They have to go all the way around to get into the middle. So he has created this path. He's put it um, at a slight slope you know downhill but then built up the dirt here to stop the mud and the moisture from continuing to run into this paddock and wrecking havoc on what used to be a lovely grassy little paddock hey Stella um, then we have kind of what I would call our second level swell and berm this I see if I can get show you this angle this is the the big berm here and this is the drainage ditch I was telling you he'd put in it's a lot larger than I imagine it to be but I guess the bigger the better um, he cut into this dirt so what will happen all the water and runoff and erosion will come off this hill and go into this ditch and then be directed um, either into this side of the property or down the hill to that side um, 
and he says that it's okay for the horses to use that drainage ditch as a path, that packing it down will actually help, but um, here's, here's how it goes down to our little creek, which is where it belongs. Maybe we'll actually even have a slightly bigger creek now that it's the water's heading in the right direction. Um, this is what we have, so there is our swell and our berm. I think that this will do very nicely. I can't imagine the water getting over that hump, getting over this hump, and then coming and getting over that hump. So I think at the very least we have blocked it um, from continuing to to just destroy everything in its path. So um, the next step is to actually turn the horses out here, let them, you know, use their horsepower to pound, pound all this down um, and get it really packed. And then he's gonna come back later this week and just kind of smooth it out some more. But I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's the first step to creating a nice dry space for the horses to to live in during the winter months so that we can avoid um, all these hoof problems that we've had this winter. It's just been awful. Um, so as always the main goal is to to create a happy healthy environment for our beloved equine friends. Until next time, this is Amy at Whistle Thicket.